I sometimes laugh when people talk about, you know, down years for me, because a lot of times down years for me are career years for most quarterbacks. Oh! I enjoyed the heck out of what he said there, and obviously McAfee did too. What did you take away from what he said? Oh, it was fantastic. I, I love cornerback confidence, even when it's in quarterbacks. It was a lot of fun to hear him say it. But, I mean, he didn't disagree with anything. He didn't say that he wasn't having down years. He acknowledged that he had down years, and I agree with him. Some of his down years are career years for other guys. But the fact of the matter is, he was not having great Aaron rodgers s seasons. He gave us LeBron-level play, and then all of a sudden wasn't doing it anymore, and we called it out. And now he is back. I'm happy that he's back. The league is better. The Packers are better. We're all better when he is back. I don't know what it is, but he seems to be in a better place mentally. And I think that a lot of the reason why is because Matt LaFleur is scheming up some really special stuff. Aaron Rodgers isn't having to put this offense on his back, even though the numbers suggest that he is. There are wide open people because Matt LaFleur is setting it up for him. And then when people aren't wide open, Aaron Rodgers is allowed to be Aaron Rodgers. So I'm happy he's back. And I hope he keeps talking greasy like that because it makes it a lot more fun. I totally agree with you. And I look, you and I were among those who were having these conversations here. And I don't take back a word of it by his ridiculously lofty standards. He was having down years. Yes, they would be great seasons for almost anyone else. That's what happens when you're one of the greatest <laughs> players that ever lived. But he is playing better again now. He is playing as well as he ever has right now. Desmond Howard, as you watch Aaron Rodgers playing right now mm -hmm. in the Packers, what are you seeing? Well, well, first of all, Dominique, the changes that he made, they were off the field. That's why he's in a better headspace right now, right. and he's playing phenomenally. And when I heard him say what he said, I was like, talk that talk, boss, man. That's right. Speak <laughs> your truth. Aaron is a guy that I've respected for so many years, guys. A few years ago, I met him at the uh, Nike Elite 11, right? And you got all these high school kids who are sitting there thinking that, you know, that they're the stuff. And Aaron walked up to one of these kids and said, you know, where are you ranked? And he's like, you know, I'm, you know, top 10, blah, blah, blah. Aaron said, you know what, guy? There's about 10 other guys like me out there who's working their butts off right now so they can replace you like that. That type of, that type of talk is Aaron Rodgers. He has had that chip on his shoulders. And ever since then, I'm like, yeah, that's my guy right there. Been able to <laughs> do some business with him in an investment firm and actually come out with a movie called Workhorses. But that's his mentality. I love that about Aaron Rodgers. And his teammates love it about him, too. I was very excited that he said what he said on that show. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. And again, he has always maintained that edge that I think started at least um, in the NFL from falling as far as he did in the draft. Dominique, I think those kinds of things just yeah. stay with players. That has stayed with him, and that mental mentality has driven him. And whatever impact the Packers handling their offseason the way they did, choosing to draft his heir apparent, um, by moving up in the first round to do so. Whatever impact that has had on him, it obviously has worked because he is, again, playing I the best we've ever seen him. Yeah. I see what you're getting at, Greeny. You're taking credit for the resurgence in Aaron Rodgers. Is that you called him out a couple years ago, and you were like, hey, Aaron, you're not so good. You're not doing your thing. And Aaron Rodgers took it to heart. So you're welcome, Packers fans. You're welcome, Aaron Rodgers. You're welcome, NFL. Mike Greenberg saved him. It's exactly right. I'm glad you said that, so I didn't have to. And let's just put up this graphic, Nick, if we have it. Let's take a look at the QBR. This is the stat that ESPN's research department puts together of how well a quarterback is playing. Uh, this is actually the MVP poll here. I'm sorry. I was going to do the QBR note, which I thought what we had going. Here it comes. Aaron Rodgers right now has the highest total QBR by any player through four games in the entire history of the QBR statistic. Second and third, as you see, are Peyton Manning in 2013 and Tom Brady in 2007. Those are considered to be the two greatest seasons any quarterback has ever had in the NFL. Both of them set records for points in a season. So Rodgers isn't just off to a good start, Desmond Howard. He's off to the best start that any quarterback has ever had as long as we've put that statistic together. Yeah, and I tell you what, and Aaron, he's a guy who is a rare quality, and Dominique, he can, he can tell you about this, too. He's had, he has that rare quality where he can make everyone around him much better. Don't forget, guys, he's doing with a bunch of no-name players, people who are like, who is this guy? When did he come into the league? <laughs> because that's the type of player Aaron Rodgers is. He helps everyone around him elevate their game to the next level, and his teammates, they love him because of it. So I, I, I couldn't be happier for Aaron Rodgers thus far this season. 
I've said it before, I'll say it again. Aaron Rodgers is going to put a lot of people's kids through private school based on making <laughs> them look a whole lot better than they may otherwise be. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.